you are watching this video, then you are trying to figure out what the big four accounting firms are. You've likely done a little bit of research on your own and are somewhat confused as to who the big four accounting firms are and what they do. I don't blame you. The information on the big four is a little bit confusing because the big four want to be all things all the time to their clients. They try to offer every service possible to their clients. So the message they send to the world, to big four recruits, and clients can be confusing sometimes. But fundamentally, the big four accounting firms are the four largest accounting firms in the world. And they are PwC, Deloitte, ENY, and KPMG. They are labeled the big four because they are way larger than the next biggest accounting firm. For comparison's sake, the smallest accounting firm of the big four, which is KPMG, made $26.4 billion in their last financial release and they have over 197,000 employees across the world. Now the next largest accounting firm, which would be the fifth largest accounting firm in the world, is BDO. In BDO's latest financial statement, they only made $7.6 billion across the world, and they only have 67,000 employees worldwide. What makes the big four accounting firms so big, and all these other accounting firms, is that they're truly global firms. And this means they have partnerships all around the world, that allow them to offer their multinational clients services across the world. The big four can do this because they have hundreds of thousands of employees, while all of the other accounting firms outside of the big four only have tens of thousands. And often enough, those other accounting firms aren't international. They are only regional. And these smaller accounting firms also don't offer as many services as the big four accounting firms do. Most of those mid-tier accounting firms really only focus on audit and tax services and have really limited consulting practices. Now, how did the big four get so big? Accounting firms are usually professional service firms that consist of partnerships. And that's what the big four is, their partnership. Now, what is common practice in accounting firms is that once they scale up and get bigger, they acquire smaller partnerships, smaller accounting practices. And that is how the big four accounting firms became the largest accounting firms in the world. They kept on acquiring smaller firms. And the big four accounting firms used to be labeled the big eight accounting firms when there used to be eight large accounting firms in the world. And those eight large accounting firms were Arthur Anderson, Arthur Young, Deloitte Haskins and Sells, Ernst & Winnie, Pete Marwick Mitchell, Price Waterhouse, Touche Ross, and Coopers and Library. But then there was a series of mergers that reduced them down to the big six accounting firms. And the mergers that happened were Ernst & Winnie merged with Arthur Young to form Ernst & Young, and Deloitte Haskins & Sells merged with Touche Ross to become Deloitte Touche. And that left six, and that left six big accounting firms. Ernst & Young, Deloitte Touche, Pete Marwick Mitchell, Price Waterhouse, Coopers and Librand, and Arthur Anderson. Eventually, Price Waterhouse and Coopers and Librand merged, and this created the big five accounting firms. But then Arthur Anderson collapsed after the Enron scandal in the early 2000s, and that's how the Big Four were created. Now, what do they do at the Big Four accounting firms? The Big Four accounting firms are in charge of auditing the largest companies in the world, whether that's Facebook, GE or Berkshire Hathaway, you name it, and one of the big four is in charge of reviewing their financial statements and saying whether the financial statements are aligned with generally accepted accounting principles or IFRS. Now, what the big four would say they do is they provide stability to financial markets, and they provide trust in financial statements of the largest companies. And they do this by requiring their own employees to get professional certifications, like certified public accountant or a chartered accountant, and therefore the public trusts their audits because they have certified professionals auditing financial statements. But in addition to auditing, the big four offer other services, such as tax services and consulting services. And the big four have even gotten into other professional services, such as marketing. The large scope of their services allows them to earn way more revenue than other smaller accounting partnerships. So that's what the big four are in a short summary. To learn more about the big four accounting firms, 
make sure to visit our website, big4countyfirms.com, and check out the links in the description to this video below. Make sure to subscribe to this channel as well. Thanks.